So Far Cry 4 has a ton of new gameplay out all over YouTube and I'm going to provide some brand new gameplay in this video as well. But if you want more, and there is a ton more guys on YouTube, check out the description below. Check out all of the wonderful videos all over YouTube so you guys don't have to go digging and searching for these videos. You can just come here right on Oprah of Games and find basically every single video uh, of Far Cry 4 that has recently released from the event that they recently held in San Francisco and overseas. But we also have a ton of new gameplay details and Far Cry 4 is shaping up to be quite the RPG. As you remember Far Cry 3 was pretty extensive in that area but now they've taken it to a whole new level. We're going to be going over that. Brand new side missions you can expect and so much more and also at the tail end of this video, I'm going to go and include the Far Cry 4 unboxing of the Collector's Edition. So you guys can check that out as well. Then I'm going to include uh, links in the description to find out where you guys can purchase the Collector's Edition if that sort of thing interests you. But guys, here we go. Let's talk about Far Cry 4. So as I just said, Far Cry 4 is very much an RPG. Crafting is returning in a big way and then hunting supports character progression. So as you hunt in the game, you can use the hunting materials like the pelts and the skins of the lions, the bears, and other such creatures to upgrade your ammunition pouches, how much syringes you can carry, and that sort of thing. Which is really cool, this is a mechanic that was used in Far Cry 3. And there are two upgrade paths known as the Tiger and the Elephant. One for aggressive murdering and the other one for healing and passive abilities. So you'll be able to pick and choose if you want to really upgrade how much health you have or if you want to be the guy that's all stealthy and going after people and causing high amounts of damage online. It's going to be fun to see people playing in co-op with a really aggressive player and then someone that's more for passive ability. So that will be fun to see. Now you have your RPG elements and then you've got Karma on top of it. Now this is a brand new mechanic to the Far Cry franchise. What Karma does is it tracks your progress during the game to see if you've been a really good guy or someone that has been absolutely evil. And it's really, uh, it really does pay to be a good guy in this game because as you do good, you earn a bunch of karma points that you can spend on gaining companions on the battlefield. So you earn that uh, from doing good deeds like rescuing hostages or doing side activities. And you even earn it for doing clean kills during hunting. So it's always running in the background. This is one thing I absolutely love about open world games is when you fire your weapon and you kill an animal or you complete an objective, you're basically doing five things in that moment and it looks like Far Cry 4 is really succeeding at providing that level of detail. So bonus objectives are a big part of Far Cry 4 as well. These remind me a lot of what was in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood where you get extra XP for completing a mission in complete stealth. So it adds that extra variety and replay value to the game. Now outposts are rated by difficulty. This is similar to Assassin's Creed Unity's Brotherhood missions that are rated from one to five stars. You can expect sort of the thing, same thing for outposts. So, so some outposts will be extremely easy and then some will be more difficult. But here's the big wrinkle in the game this time. Fortresses are not outpost missions. That's really important to remember. They are much larger events and they are co-op driven experiences. Now you don't have to do it in co-op but it's going to be a lot more fun if you can do it in co-op. And these fortresses can learn from your mistakes. So if you screw up, they can actually learn your tactics. And this is a brand new gameplay mechanic I'm seeing in a lot of games lately. But some fortresses shouldn't be taken on in the beginning of the game because they must be weakened by completing main missions and could be surrounded by mines. And as you do main missions, you weaken these uh, defenses and then you can go in and attack it. So that is a really cool gameplay mechanic to really force you to do the story in a way that will also make you go back to the side missions later on. So they really want you to complete the story in this game as you play it. Now Sable and Amita are two main characters in the game and you will be offered 
two types of missions, Sable missions and then Amida missions. These are the Golden Paths leaders and are extremely important characters to the story. But when you are offered these missions, you've got to choose between the two because it will branch the narrative. It will change the story and you will not be able to go back. So choose wisely. And one of these characters is going to be more passive more peaceful and the other one does not care about collateral damage. I don't care if civilians get in the way, they just want to kill pagan men. So you have some tough decisions to make in this game. So building off the RPG mechanics, weapons can be fully customized as in Far Cry 3. And you can go in stealthily using silencers to never be seen in this game. So imagine in co-op two stealthy players taking on a fortress. It seems like you could play any way you want in this game, they've really designed it to give you absolute freedom. Now this is a really, really cool feature. It's called Auto Drive and it's a brand new feature that allows you to shoot from your vehicle without the worry of the road. It sort of reminds me of what they did in Red Dead Redemption when you were riding on your horse and it kept you on the path. That's basically the same difference here in Far Cry 4. Cannot wait to do this uh, in co-op as well so both of you can be causing a bunch of chaos in Kyra. So don't forget there is an assortment of brand new vehicles, including buggies, ATVs, hang gliders, wingsuits, gyrocopters, and so much more. And they are really, really focused on the air vehicles this time, the wingsuits, the gyrocopters, and the hang gliders. That is impressive, and I hope down the road we can upgrade our vehicles and then have our own garages. I'm hoping they add that to Far Cry 5 later on. So the map, as you can tell, is just crowded with a ton of things to do. They said that this game is much larger than Far Cry 3 in overall content, and it looks to be that way. The map is about the same size as Far Cry 3, and the game length is anywhere from 15 to 60 hours long, so it's a pretty lengthy game and with co-op added on top of it it's going to be a ton of fun and don't forget there's an arena mode as well where you will be able to survive waves of enemies and this is going to be in single player only i have no idea why they didn't choose to do this as a co-op mode i'm a little bit baffled by that i hope they consider doing that as a dlc or maybe in far cry 5 but Overall, the package is really impressing me for Far Cry 4. It looks like there's just so much to do, and I really do like how uh, you're doing one thing, but at the same time, under the hood of Far Cry 4's gameplay, it's always tracking your progress in many, many different areas. And don't forget, there's that other world of Far Cry 4, Shangri-La, and we're going to be seeing a lot more of it here soon, so stay tuned right here to open world games for all things Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity, and open world gaming goodness. It's getting so close, guys. November 18th. Man, November is officially crowded. It's going to be crazy. Thanks for watching. Like this video. Share it, guys. Seriously, it helps out a ton when you do that. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Again, we recently hit 100,000 subscribers. My mind is still blown about that. I am so, so thankful for your guys' support. Look forward to more open world gaming goodness right here on YouTube and of course Facebook and Twitter. And now, as promised, the unboxing of the Far Cry 4 Collector's Edition. Guys, enjoy.
Pre-order now. Far Cry 4. Available November 18th, 2014.